Hey everyone, how's it going? It's been three weeks since I last uploaded a video. Ooh. Accidental vacation. So in the grand scheme of things, three weeks does not seem like a long time, but in the internet world, I died. Gone. Finito. Deceased. Of course, if you follow me on Instagram, hint, you'd know that I've been very much alive and living my best life, working on a new album with Megan, being at karaoke every week, and eating a lot of fried chicken. Hashtag not sponsored yet. Being a career YouTuber is really weird. I had a really interesting interview with I Justine the other day and the interviewer said this, I was talking to an influencer agent and he was talking about a travel vlogger he worked with that was so afraid of losing his audience that he obsessively created content, shooting every day, traveling non-stop, editing every night, and promoting on social hours every day. He eventually fizzled out and had a breakdown. Can't relate. Listen, I've definitely had breakdowns, but not for that reason. And I get it, we are under so much pressure to create and to keep up and to present ourselves on camera as these confident, successful people, but that can become, I just bit my tongue. Oh, that hurt. That can be very taxing. There are a number of people who I know who reach these levels of success but just aren't happy because they have to make content that they don't care about or they have to be people who they aren't. Not all successful YouTubers, but some. There is no roof to success and unless you have a really strong sense of purpose, you might never actually be satisfied because you have to keep keeping up. When I quit my job to pursue YouTube, uh, I got some advice from a longtime friend. YouTube fame is the shittiest goal. I can't name a single YouTuber whose content got better as they got more popular, including myself. I love that people can make a living doing this shit, but it forces you into having to concern yourself more with what people want from you. I took those words to heart and I chose a path of authenticity, whatever that means these days, because everything's real and everything's fake. But I stuck to what I wanted to do. Sometimes that meant making decisions that would hold me back. Not working with certain people, not making certain types of content, not making anything if I didn't feel like it. I really embraced this idea of being an underdog and a tragedy and, you know, an indie YouTuber. But at a certain point, you want to know that you're good at your job. It's tough being a career YouTuber because on one hand, you're expected to be passionate and authentic and you know, doing what you love, but on the other hand, you also have to be consistent and you have to grow. And I know I don't feel motivated every day. I feel thankful and I recognize that I'm getting to do something that not everyone does, but it's not always easy. I was speaking to another creator friend about how to find motivation because we both hadn't posted in a while. And I realized maybe we've been a little bit selfish, maybe, this shouldn't always be about what I want to do, but also the responsibility that we have to our audiences. Who stays in their job for 10 years? Of course there are going to be days when you don't feel like doing your job, but sometimes you just have to suck it up and do it. I read the other day that Justin Bieber was canceling the remainder of his tour, and my first reaction was, how could you do that? You are living so many people's dream right now, and so many people are depending on you to make money. Like, can you not just do your job. But I thought about it some more and as an artist, you know, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, it's going to show and we are so much more aware of the importance of mental health. I don't know if he even started that tour because he wanted to, but he should have the right to step back and say, I really cannot complete this. People are going to be angry, but ultimately you'd be doing them a disservice to charge an extraordinary amount of money and to get up on stage and not care. Luckily there is no admission cost to watching a YouTube video, so you're gonna get whatever we give you. Now, unlike Justin Bieber, I chose to pursue this as my career and nobody is depending on me to make money for them. And if I want anything to happen, I'm gonna have to work, bitch. So what do you think? Did Justin Bieber do the right thing? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like there was no point to this video, but as Megan Tanjus would say, yeah, that's YouTube, girl. True say, Megan. I just wanted to let you know that I'm still alive and after a three, three week, a three week, after a three week break, I am ready to go. I'm ready to make more travel stories, ready to make more music, and ready to just be a better creator for you. Speaking of which, at the beginning of the year, I asked you how I could be a better creator and I created a whole blog post out of it and never addressed it again. So if you want to read that, I will link to it in the description box below. I'll see ya later this week. Turn on your bell dinger so you know when I 
upload a video. I'll see you next time. À la prochaine. Finito. 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 Finito.